So I have my loyal work crew here. We're out in the field where the sheep were. And I'm gonna bring the horses in here. So I was about to start. I've got new electric fence posts because I have to get them every once in a while. The sun deteriorates them so much after about, after a number of years. So I was cutting the tape with my knife and this screw dropped off. Luckily, I spotted them in the grass down there. So I'm going to have to repair my knife. And the other half of it is in there. So luckily, I caught it in time. So it's going to be boots repairing, knife repairing. God, I hope there's not much more repairing to do today. I've got to fence this now and then release the horses. Sounds like there's a swarm in this tree. There's so many bees pollinating it. They're just all over it, humming. There isn't a swarm, it's just all the bees are pollinating. It's an incredible humming noise. I don't know if it comes across on the film or not. But they're all over this rowan. Loads and loads of bees. Anyway, one of the reasons why I usually let fields that have had the horses through them rest a year. So they usually are like every two years, a horse will really graze a field. This year, I'm having a series of events here on the farm. One is a farming for nature, farm walk. Another is a family event. Uh, and, oh, I can't remember what the third one is. Anyway, so I need a place for cars to park. So the horses are going to graze this area close. It's too slippery and greasy for cars when you have too much grass sitting down. So I'm going to get, the horses are going to come in and mow this area with their grazing. And all the way up beyond towards the fence of that far field but I'm only at the moment they're only going to do this section and then I'll get them to do the other section but it's to graze it right down to the scut so that by the time the events occur in July and August this will have grown back a bit but also will be better for traffic because at the moment it's it'll be too greasy with all this grass regrowth and tall grasses etc it really is humming that tree. I don't know if you can hear it. It's just buzzing with bees. They're loving the rowan. So the horses are up over that hill and I'm going to call them and they'll come galloping along the edge of the woods down across here through that gate down there and then across those down another gate down the hill into the paddock I've just been fencing where all the rowans are. So I've put a pause on their gallop at the gate over there, down there somewhere. So let's see what happens. Man, girl, it's got a girl. Did you hear her whinny? I don't know if they're going to come. Oh, sounds like they're coming. Ooh. Come on, Brindle. Good girl. Okay, I've put a pause because their gate's closed over there. I don't want them to go too fast and furious. Easy, girls. Easy. Java, leave it. Java, you're going to get stomped on if you're not careful. 
Easy, girl. Easy. 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 Hey, 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 Java, leave it. Okay, so I'm going to open this gate and then call them again. And hopefully they'll come down here. You can see they put a screeching brake on themselves. put their heads down to graze somewhere. Come here, girls. Come on. Woo! Maybe if I do this. Come on. Atta girl. Come on. Ishka. Come on. <laughs> they are so not interested in coming. But you're coming. You were good. I'm going to put the phone down here. So maybe you'll see them gallop past. Come on, Brindle. Or maybe they'll come while I'm walking down here. Dunno. I won't turn off the video just in case. Look at all the wonderful clovers and stuff we have here. Nope, still not coming. Okay. Hey guys, how are you? Right. I think I'll make this my tripod. Uh, let's see. This right here, rest my camera here. You got plenty of eating, don't you? Inca, leave it! Ah, oh, dear. Look at them go. Java, come back! Java! <laughs> He's up on his hind legs. Look at the horses. Woo! -hoo. Loving having more space and fresh grass. Well, to them, fresh grass. And they've got a view, a fresh view from their winter view. Java, come on. Come on, pups. boy. come on. Good boy. Now it's time for me to have some coffee. Come on. Good boy. Atta dogs. Yeah. Okay, close this gate. I spotted this hooded crow hanging out with a lamb. I'm wondering why it's hanging out with the lamb. So you see the lamb is on the stump. There's the hooded crow. You gonna take off? Yep, there it goes. I'm going to go check this lamb and see why that hooded crow is there. Oh, there's another hooded crow going. Yeah, why were you hanging out with a hooded crow? <laughs> At least you're lovely and lively. 
No reason for the hooded crow to really be interested in you. But I'm curious as to why it's hanging out here. Here's one of its feathers. It's plucked a feather. He was sitting here for ages. Maybe it's just getting insects. I suppose there you go. There's the answer. Ants. This is full of ants. And they were probably, the hooded crow was probably irritating them so that they would go and bite the hooded crow. And their acid kind of um, is like a flea gets rid of the mites on the hooded crow. So that was basically what was happening. There's ants there. That's what it was doing. It was at a cleaning station, getting the ant acid to uh, clean its bird lice. So that answers that question. This is finally, this was a pink horse chestnut that stood here for many, many years and then died. And I left the trunk and we kind of made it into a seat, but now it's rotting down into the ground. And I guess ants are making a home and the hooded crow is using it as a cleaning station. There you go. What are you smelling? You smelling something interesting as well? Hmm? You beautiful kitty. You beautiful kitty. Right. All looking well. Isn't that right, kitty? You've got such beautiful green eyes. You've got such beautiful green eyes. Okay, I've got to go and uh, do another job. I was walking down to put the electric battery on the fence for the horses when I noticed the hooded crow. See, all the sheep are very happy. Spread out over the field, munching all this lovely fresh grass. Battery is on. Isn't that right? Yeah. Yep. Wish I could still ride. My neck injury prevents me from riding. You were my baby. And this is your baby. Good girls. Yeah. Very cross bird in the background. There's a very cross bird in there. Probably because the oven mitt has followed me back down here. Oh, look, it's a wren. Look at it. Very cross little wren. Okay, your baby must be down on the ground somewhere, so I'm going to take the dogs away. Okay? Very courageous little wren. There's probably a baby wren on the ground somewhere, so I'm going to take the dogs away. Hopefully it didn't fall in the water tank. Anyway, I'm not going to look. See you guys later. Oh, look, that's why it's so cross. There's oven mitt. Very cross, little wren. <laughs> okay, I'm going to take the dogs away. And hopefully oven mitt. Very cross. Can you see it? Just right there. <laughs> We're leaving. Come on, kitty! Brrr. Cat must be very close to where the baby is. 
She's very cross, Wren. <laughs> Come on, Java. Come on, Evermint. Kitty, kitty. Let's leave the cross Wren to her baby. Her baby is fledged, probably on the ground somewhere. <laughs>